Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and today we have a Cloudways setup tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll do a complete WordPress setup. You'll learn how to set up WordPress on Cloudways. You'll learn how to migrate and transfer a website over to Cloudways, and you'll learn how to set up your domain and SSL certificate. I'm also going to take you through some additional optimizations you can make to get the best performance possible from Cloudways. And I'll show you a free method on how to get SMTP email on Cloudways for free. I've got a free method for that one. And finally, I'll show you how to set up WordPress Cloudflare optimization. So I've got a free method on how to do that one as well. Now you can follow along with this complete tutorial for free. They do give you a three day free trial. So I'll put the link in the description where you can get a free trial and I've got a coupon code idea spot. If you decide to go with Cloudways long term, you'll get a discount when you sign up with that code. So if all this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So after following that link in the description, you can start your free trial. And here we just need to fill in our details and we can click got promo code here and enter idea spot as our coupon code. You'll get a little green tick there and agree to the terms and we can go ahead and start free. Now just check your email. You'll get an email like this one where you have to activate your account. So just click that one. And now we can go ahead and launch a server. And we're gonna be using WordPress here. So we just choose that first option on this list. And we just need to name our app, our server, and give our project a name. And you can pretty much name these whatever you like. I've just set up those names there. And the cheapest option is DigitalOcean using the one gigabyte of RAM. You can use any location to do this. Just choose something that's close to your audience. Now that'll only be $10 a month. But the one I use and the one I actually recommend is Vulture and using the high frequency option here. So this is very high performance. I'm using the one gigabyte method and just choose something that's close to your audience. Most of my audience is North American, so I'll choose New York. That one is $13 a month. We can go ahead and launch this server. So let's click launch now. And our server will start setting itself up here. And on the next screen, you'll get a little estimated time on how long this will actually take to set this one up. Okay, so when that's all set up, this is what it will look like. You can switch between servers and applications with that toggle, and you can get to WordPress quickly through that link right there. Now we can access our WordPress site through this link here. This will set up a temporary link. That's called a staging link, and we can get to our admin panel on this link here. So that will allow us to log in. And you can get your username right here and just paste that one in. You can get your password the same way. Just copy that and paste that one in and go ahead and log in. And I'll just save my password into Chrome. But from here, we just set up WordPress as normal. So appearance and themes, we can go ahead and add a new theme. We can search for Astra and start up an Astra starter site, for example. Now let's learn to migrate a website. So I've got ideaspot.space right here. Let's move this website to Cloudways. So let's head to our plugins and get this site ready to transfer. So under plugins, add new, we are gonna search for Cloudways and we have got a plugin called Cloudways WordPress Migrator. So install that one. When that's installed, go ahead and click activate. Okay, so now we'll have a Cloudways migrate option in our menu there. Now we just need to fill in this form. All we have to do is plug in our email there. The actual destination site URL, we can get that from our staging site from Cloudways. So that is that URL that we set up with earlier. Just copy that one out. And no slash on the end there and HTTPS on there. The database username, we can get that from the Cloudways settings here. Just go ahead and copy that database username and paste that one in there. And we can get our IP address here, copy that and go ahead and paste that one in there. To get the SFTP username, click on the server icon there. Go ahead and we can find our server settings. So the username and password are here. Just copy those over. Go ahead, paste that one in. And the same with the password, just copy that one and just paste that one in there. And now we just need to agree to the terms and migrate. So from here, it's gonna take a second to validate. I'm gonna close that one there and it's gonna validate for a second. This can take a little while, so just be patient. And then we'll start seeing some progress. Now for a small website, this might take 10 or 15 minutes, but for a big website, it might take a lot longer. So just be patient and wait for that one to finish. And when that's all done, we can actually visit our migrated site. So click that one. And here we go. We have got our website migrated over to the staging URL. So here we just test it, make sure all our links are working, make sure our website's working as expected. Just give it a good test. 
Now we can go ahead, we can actually go and log back into our admin panel. So click that link and we can actually get to that admin panel. Now we have to realize that our password and username is gonna be the same as our old website. So just make a note of that. Go ahead and log in. I'm gonna update that password. And after migrating, it is best practice to resave your permalinks. So go to settings and permalinks, go ahead and just go ahead down there, click save changes. Okay, now it's time to transfer our domain name over to Cloudways. Now I'm gonna be managing the name servers through Cloudflare, but you can use any DNS manager to do this like Namecheap or GoDaddy, it doesn't really matter. But I do recommend using Cloudflare because they give you a free security network and a free content delivery network. And later in the video, I'm gonna show you how you can use the Cloudflare network to really boost the performance of your WordPress website. Okay, so if you don't have a Cloudflare account already, you can get one for free at cloudflare.com. Just head over and sign up for a free account. Then once you're in your dash, we can add a site. And the site we're using for this demonstration is ideaspot.space. We can click add site. Then we just need to click uh, free plan and confirm the plan. It's gonna scan your DNS for a minute and import all your DNS records. We can click continue there. And now is the important part, we have to change the name service to Cloudflare. So this depends on where your domain is registered and where your DNS is managed. So I'm using GoDaddy for this example. So I am gonna copy these two name servers into my GoDaddy DNS management here and I'm gonna change them there. If you're not using GoDaddy, they have guides for all the other common uh, domain hosting providers right through that link there. So you can go down and they actually have all these guides for uh, Namecheap, Bluehost, etc. So you can find that link just down there. But anyway, let's get on with this. So let's copy the first one there, go to the domain manager, click change, and we want to use our own name servers. So we flip those over to the Cloudflare name servers. There we go, and click save. And we'll get a confirmation, we click yes and continue. And after a few seconds, you can refresh the page and you'll see that your name servers are updated to Cloudflare. Once that's all done, we can check name servers. And then it's got your security and speed config. We are gonna be using full strict for this example and leave everything else on default for now. That looks all good, we can click done. And then when we go back to our dashboard, we can see that idea spot space is pending the name server update. So this does take a little while for the actual DNS to propagate. So just be patient. It might take about half an hour to one hour maybe. Okay, that took about half an hour, but it is active now. We can go ahead and click on our site, click the DNS icon, and these are the IP addresses we're gonna be changing in just a minute. But before we do that, let's head over to domain management here, and we are gonna add our domain to Cloudways. So I'm using idea spot space. I'm gonna put that in there, click save. So that takes a second, but it looks like we're all good there. So let's go back to access details and grab our IP address. Just copy that one, head back to Cloudflare and we're gonna replace this IP address with our Cloudways IP address. So just save those ones in there and the next one there, go ahead and save that one in as well. Okay, so head back to our panel. The next step is setting up our SSL certificate. So all we need to do here is put in our email address. So just paste that in there. And I am using ideaspot.space for the demo. And I recommend clicking apply wildcard here. This will allow us to use subdomains in the future if we ever need them. All right, now to verify our domain, all we do is copy this DNS record. So copy this one out, Acme Challenge, and put this into our DNS. So we're gonna make a CNAME record here, paste that in there, and then we head back to our panel, grab the rest of the record. This part goes into here under target, and then click the cloud here so it's DNS only and click save. Now, during this step, it's good practice to set Cloudflare to development mode. So let's click development mode and confirm. And we also wanna purge the cache. So click purge cache and just gonna purge everything there. Just go ahead and purge everything. We don't want any caching while we try to verify our domain. All right, now let's head back to our panel and let's try and verify our DNS. So let's go down here and we just click verify DNS. This takes a second. Now it's failed the first time. These things sometimes take a minute before they start working. So just be patient, try it again. And the second time I tried it, it worked just fine. So we're all good to go. Now that we're all verified, we can click install certificate and our SSL should be all ready to go. So go ahead and click that one. This can take a little while for this one to set up. So just be patient here. 
but after a few seconds, we get a success message. Now we can enable HTTPS redirection, but I'm not gonna do that because Cloudflare actually does that for us. So I'm just gonna close out of that. But if you're not using Cloudflare, feel free to use that feature. And you can see here, we've actually got automatic renewal on the certificate, which is pretty cool. But let's head back to access details. And with any luck, our site should be good to go. So let's click the link. And here we go, ideaspot.space is working and it's all secure. So let's go to our admin panel. We can go ahead and log in with our username and password. Okay, now that's all working properly. We can head to overview in Cloudflare. We can turn development mode back off. It actually does this automatically after three hours, but you can do it manually right now. All right, so we're nearly done. We just need to set up SMTP email for this. WordPress uses emails to send notifications such as from WooCommerce or contact forms, and they are much more reliable when we use SMTP. To do this, we go back to our panel under servers and server management SMTP. We are gonna be using our own SMTP. Now, Cloudways actually sell Elastic Email. This is a good option too. It's pretty cheap, but I've got a free method that we can use at this step. So we're gonna use our own SMTP. And here we go down here and we're gonna be using other. And in this case, we just need to fill this out and we are going to be using Send in Blue. So you can head over to sendinblue.com. They actually have a free plan that gives us 300 emails per day by SMTP. So go ahead, sign up, activate your account. Once that's all active, go ahead and head over to our uh, SMTP and API section in your account there. And you just need to copy these day details and pop them into your Cloudways panel. So these are the details we need for the host, the port, the username, and your password will be here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy those over. So here you can see I've copied over the host, port, username, and the password. We can click save. You'll get a success message and we can send a test email. Let's go ahead and send a test email. You'll get a success message there and you should receive your test email. This one came straight through to my primary inbox in Gmail, so it works very well. No worries with spam with this setup. All right, so now we're basically good to go. You're free to use your site just as it was before. The transfer is complete, but now I'm gonna move on to a few little performance tweaks where you can get more uh, speed and performance out of your website. Now, this stuff is completely optional. Your website's gonna work just fine from here, but a lot of people are gonna be interested in performance tweaks, so let's get on to that. First thing we'll do back in our server management, we go to settings and packages. And we can change a few things here. We can change our upload size. Let's make that 100 megabytes to, so we can do bigger uploads. Memory limit, let's boost that to 256. Let's go ahead and save those changes. Next thing we can do under packages, we can actually boost our PHP version. We're on 7.3 at the moment. We can go ahead and we can boost that up to 7.4. Let's go ahead and save that one. Go ahead and click OK. And that'll take a second to update. Next thing we can do is install Redis object caching. So install that one. That'll take a few seconds. Now that Redis is installed, we do have to set this up for WordPress. Cloudways do have a guide on their blog, but it's quite simple to follow. All we have to do is copy a couple lines of code into our WP config. I will link to this article in the description so you can come straight here and get this code that you'll need in a second. To add the code to your site, you just need to go to your WordPress dashboards under plugin, add new, search for WP config, and we want this WP config file editor, install that one and we can activate that one. You can also edit the config through FTP if you are interested in doing that, but this is probably a bit more friendly for beginners. We can go ahead and go to the editor and we just need to go to raw editing there. Okay, the first line that we need is already in here, define WP cache true. That was this one here, define WP cache true. The second one we need is the define the cache key salt. So we're gonna copy that one there and we put that on the first line of your authentication unique keys and salts. We go down here, that is our authentication unique keys and salts. We're gonna put that on the first line. And all we need to do here is put our site's domain in there. So my site here, there we go, ideaspot.space and click save. And click update. There we go, and we're done. Now we can actually just remove this plugin now that we're done with it. So go to install plugins and then deactivate the config file editor and then delete that config file editor. Now we just need to add the Redis object cache plugin. So we add new, search for Redis, and that is this one. Install, activate, and now under settings, we can see Redis is here. And we just need to enable the object cache. 
Cool, so this all looks right, so Redis is all good to go. Okay, next thing, let's talk about page caching plugins. So let's look at the installed plugins that we've got. And you'll notice that Cloudways has already set up Breeze for us here. This is a Cloudways page caching plugin. It's already good to go. So the performance from this is pretty okay. Right out of the box in Dallas, I'm already getting a really good load time of one second. And over in London, we are at 1.7. Now, further away in Hong Kong, 2.4 is a little slower and the slowest of all is Australia at 4.1. Now I'm going to show you how we can really cut these speeds down, especially when we're a little further away from the data center like we are in Sydney. Okay, so I'm actually going to deactivate Breeze now. And everyone has their favorite caching plugin. I think uh, W3 Total Cache works pretty good if you want a free option. The other premium option is obviously WP Rocket, which is probably the leader in terms of premium caching plugins. But in this case, given that we are using Cloudflare for our CDN, the one that works really well in this situation is WP Cloudflare Super Page Cache. So I'm actually going to install this one. I actually did a previous detailed video on this plugin. So we're going to activate that one. Under Settings, we'll find our WP Cloudflare Super Page Cache. Now we just need to fill in our details, our Cloudflare email and our Cloudflare API key. Now we can get that through our Cloudflare account, go to our site. We just need to go scroll down to API and get your API token. And now we just need to click API tokens there and we just need to view our global API key. So here we just need to put our password in, do the recapture and copy out the API token. And we copy that key out and just paste it in there and just scroll down, we hit update. Now we have to select our domain. So that is ideaspot.space, update the settings, and then enable page caching now. Just wait and it will say enable successfully, okay. Now they do have a test cache button here, but it actually is more reliable to do a manual test. So open up a incognito window and let's pop in our site and press enter. And we want to inspect, we go to network and we want to control reload here and look at our headers. So all we need to find here is Cloudflare cache status is hit. That means it's working just fine. So now when we look at our new page testing results in terms of speed, Dallas is still the same one second load time. But if we look at London, we are down to 1.4. In Hong Kong, we're also down to 1.4. And in Sydney, we're at 1.5 seconds. So by using that Cloudflare edge caching and caching this page across the network, we get really good load times wherever we are in the world. Now I'm in Australia myself and the page feels, it feels super sharp. Okay, last thing I'm gonna talk about quickly is email boxes. Now Cloudways doesn't provide email boxes. They have partnered up with Rackspace Email to do email boxes for uh, $1 a month per email box. So that can be pretty cheap if you just need one or two emails. This is a good way of doing it. If you just need a lot of cheap email addresses, hostinger.com does premium shared hosting for only $2.95 a month. That's over four years. You have to sign up for four years to get that low price, but you do get unlimited email boxes with that. So very cheap way of doing it. I think it's limited to 200 emails an hour per box and a thousand emails an hour per domain. So it might not be suitable for some high-end applications. Now there is a free option, zoho.com actually do a free forever plan, which gives you five email boxes, 25 gigabytes per user. Now you are limited to using the zoho.com webmail client. Now the webmail client does look pretty decent and it's pretty easy to use. So I think if you just need a simple free option to get a email address with your own custom domain, I think this is probably a decent way of doing it. I might actually make a video on this if I get uh, a bit of interest. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do that. Now I will mention Google Workspace email. So Google Workspace, you can get a business starter for $6 per user per month. Now this is gonna be the fastest and most reliable solution. So if you are dealing with uh, business critical email boxes that you really must have perfect reliability, I think Google Workspace is probably gonna be the best choice to go with. All right, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you're interested in checking out Cloudways, you can get that three day free trial just through that link in the description and use the Ideaspot coupon code. You can get a discount if you decide to move over to Cloudways. I also made a previous video where I set up Vulture High Frequency using Plesk directly through Vulture. Now that's a little more complicated, but I'll put that video right there. You can check that one out too, because I like using that method as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.